In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Exodus 25 Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they take first fruits from everyone who gives it willingly from the heart. Thus you shall make my fr thus you shall take my first fruits. This is the offering you shall take from them: gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet cloth, fine spun linen, the f and female goat's hair, ram skins dyed red and skins dyed blue, and incorruptible wood, oil for the light and incense for anointing oil and for the composition of incense, sardius stones and st stones for the carved work of the breastplate and the full-length robe. Also you shall make me a sanctuary, and I will appear among you, according to all I show you, that is, the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all its furnishings, so you shall make it. Thus you shall make the ark of testimony from incorruptible wood. Two and a half cubits shall be its length, a cubit and a half its width, and a cubit and a half its weight height. You shall overlay it with pure gold, Inside and out you shall overlay it, and shall make it on a wreath of gold all around. You shall cast four golden rings for it, and put them on its four corners, two rings on one side and two rings on the other side. You shall make poles of incorruptible wood, and overlay them with gold. You shall put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark, and the ark may be carried by them. The poles shall remain fixed in the rings of the ark. Then you shall put into the ark the testimonies I will give you. You shall also make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two and a half cubits shall be its length, and a cubit and a half its width. Then you shall make two cherubim of gold. Of hammered work you shall make them at the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherub at one end, and the other cherub at the other end. And you shall make the cherubim at the two ends of it, of one piece with the mercy seat. And the cherubim shall stretch out their wings above, overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings, and they shall face one another. The faces of the cherubim shall be toward the mercy seat. You shall put the mercy seat on top of the ark, and in the ark you shall put the testimonies I will give you. There I will make myself known to you, and I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim which are on the ark of testimony, about everything I will give you in commandment to the children of Israel. You shall also make a golden table of pure gold. Two cubits shall be its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. You shall make for it golden wreaths lit twisted all around, and also a crown of a hand breadth all around, and you shall make a twisted wreath of gold for the crown all around. You shall make four golden rings for it, and put the rings on the four corners of its four legs under the crown. The rings shall be bearings for the poles, so they may bear the table with them. And you shall make the poles of incorruptible wood, and overlay them with pure gold, that the table may be carried with them. You shall make its dishes, censers, bowls, and cups of pure gold, that you may offer drink offerings with them. And you shall set the bread on the table before me continually. You shall also make a lampstand of pure gold, which shall be of hammered work. Its shaft, branches, and bowls, and its stem and corolla shall be of one piece. Six branches shall come out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of one side, and three branches out of the other. Three bowls shall be made like almonds on each branch, with its ornamental knobs and lilies, and so for the six branches that come out of the lampstand. On the lampstand itself four bowls shall be made like almonds, and each with its ornamental knob and lilies. There shall be a knob under the first two branches of the same, a knob under the second two branches of the same, and a knob under the third two branches of the same, according to the six branches that extend from the lampstand. Their knobs and their branches shall be of one piece. All of it shall be one hammered piece of pure gold. You shall make it seven lamps, and you will lay the lamps upon them. From this one presence they will shine outward. You shall make its funnels and dishes of pure gold. It shall be made of a talent of pure gold with all these utensils and see to it that you make them according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Exodus 26 Now you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine woven linen, with purple, blue, and scarlet fabric, and you shall weave them with artistic designs of cherubim. The length of each curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits. Each curtain shall have the same measurements. 
five curtains shall be coupled to one another, and the other five curtains shall be coupled one to another. You shall make loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtains of one set, and likewise you shall do on the outer edge of the curtain of the second set. Fifty loops you shall make in the one curtain, and fifty loops you shall make on the edge of the curtain at the end of the second set, that the loops may be clasped one to another. You shall make fifty clasps of gold, and couple the curtains together with the clasps, that it may be one tabernacle. You shall also make curtains of goat's hair skins, to be a tent over the tabernacle. You shall make eleven such curtains. The length of each curtain shall be thirty cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits, and the eleven curtains shall all have the same measurements. You shall couple five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves, and you shall double over the sixth curtain at the forefront of the tent. You shall make fifty loops on the edge of the outermost curtain in one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the curtain of the second set. You shall make fifty bronze clasps, put the clasps into the loops, and couple the tent together, that it may be one. The remaining remnant of the tent's curtains, that is, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the back of the tabernacle. A cubit on one side and a cubit on the other side of the remaining length of the tent's curtains shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle, on this side and on that side, to cover it. You shall also make a covering of ram skins dyed red for the tent, and blue skins as coverings above that. You shall make the tabernacle posts out of incorruptible wood. Ten cubits shall be the length of each post, and a cubit and a half its width. Two joints shall be made in each post for binding one to another. Thus you shall do for all the posts of the tabernacle. Thus you shall make the posts for the tabernacle, twenty for the north side. You shall make forty bases of silver for the twenty posts, two bases for each of the two joints of the posts. For the second side of the tabernacle, the south side, there shall be twenty posts, and there forty bases of silver, two bases for each of the posts' two joints. For the far side of the tabernacle, westward, you shall make six posts. You shall also make two posts for the two back corners of the tabernacle. They shall be coupled together at the bottom and at the top by one ring. Thus it shall be for both of them. They shall be equal. So there shall be eight posts with their sixteen bases of silver, two bases for both sides of each post. And you shall make bars of incorruptible wood, five for the posts of one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the posts of, on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the posts of the sides of the tabernacle toward the sea. The middle bar shall pass through the midst of the posts from end to end. You shall overlay the posts with gold, make their rings of gold as holders for the bars, and overlay the bars with gold. Then you shall raise up the tabernacle according to its pattern shown you on the mountain. You shall then make a veil woven of blue, purple, and scarlet fabric, and fine woven linen. It shall be woven with an artistic design of cherubim. You shall hang it upon the four posts of incorruptible wood overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be gold upon four bases of silver. You shall hang the veil on the posts. Then you shall bring the Ark of the Testimony in there behind the veil. The veil shall be a divider for you between the holy place and the holy of holies. You shall put the mercy seat upon the Ark of the Testimony in the holy of holies. You shall set the table outside the veil, and the lampstand across from the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south, and you shall put the table on the north side. You shall make a screen for the door of the tabernacle woven of blue, purple, and scarlet fabric, and fine woven linen made by a weaver. You shall make five posts for the veil, and overlay them with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold, and you shall cast five bases of bronze for them. Exodus 27 Now you shall make an altar of incorruptible wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide. The altar shall be square, and its height shall be three cubits. You shall make horns on its four corners. Its horns shall be of one piece with it, and you shall overlay it with bronze. Also you shall make a crown around the altar, and its cover, its libation bowls, its flesh hooks, its incense bowl, and all its utensils you shall make of bronze. You shall make a grate for it, a network of bronze, and on the network you shall make four bronze rings at its corners. You shall put them below under the grate of the altar, that the grate may be midway up the altar. You shall make poles for the altar of incorruptible wood, and overlay them with bronze. The poles shall be put in the rings, and the poles shall be on the two sides of the altar to carry it. You shall make it hollow with boards, as it was shown you on the mountain, so shall you make it. 
You shall also make a court for the tabernacle. For the west side there shall be hangings for the court made of fine woven linen, one hundred cubits along for one side. And its twenty posts and their twenty bases shall be bronze. The hooks of the posts and their bands shall be silver. Likewise, along the east side shall be curtains one hundred cubits in length, with its twenty posts and their twenty bases of bronze, and the hooks of the posts and their bands of silver. And along the width of the court on the north side shall be curtains of fifty cubits, with their ten posts and ten bases. The width of the court on the south side shall be curtains of fifty cubits, with their ten posts and ten bases. The length of the curtains on one side shall be fifty cubits, with their three posts and three bases. On the other side shall be curtains of fifteen cubits, with their three posts and three bases. For the gate of the court there shall be a veil twenty cubits long, woven of blue, purple, and scarlet fabric, and fine woven linen, made by a weaver. It shall have four posts and four bases. All the posts around the court shall be overlaid with silver, their hooks shall be of silver, and their bases of bronze. The length of the court shall be one hundred cubits on each side, and the width fifty on each side, and the height five cubits, made of the fine woven linen, and its bases of bronze. All the utensils, all the instruments, and all the pegs of the court shall be of bronze. You shall also command the children of Israel to bring you pure oil of pressed olives for the light, to cause the lamp to burn continually in the tabernacle of testimony, outside the veil before the testimony. Aaron and his sons shall tend it from evening until morning before the Lord. It shall be an ordinance forever to their generations on behalf of the children of Israel. Psalm 28 A Psalm by David, the final day of the Feast of Tabernacles. Bring to the Lord, O ye sons of God, bring to the Lord the sons of rams. Bring to the Lord glory and honor. Bring to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in his holy court. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundered. The Lord is upon the many waters. The voice of the Lord is strong. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord shatters cedars, and the Lord shall grind to powder the cedars of Lebanon. And he shall grind them fine like the young bull and like Lebanon. But his beloved shall be like a son of unicorns. The voice of the Lord cuts through fiery flames, and the voice of the Lord shakes the desert. And the Lord will shake the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes deer to calve and uncovers the thickets. And in his temple everyone speaks of his glory. The Lord shall dwell in the deluge, and the Lord shall sit as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Proverbs 5, 20-23 Do not be intimate with a strange woman, neither cling to the embrace of a woman not your own. For the ways of man are before the eyes of God, and he keeps close watch on all his paths. Lawless women ensnare a man. But each man is bound by the chains of his own sins. Such a man dies with the uninstructed, and is cast forth from the abundance of his own substance, and he is destroyed by lack of discernment. Matthew 18, 1-20 At that time the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Then Jesus called a little child to him, set him in the midst of them, and said, Assuredly I say to you, Unless you are co converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses! For offenses must come, but woe to that man by whom the offense comes. If your hand or foot causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life lame or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into the everlasting fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep, and one of them goes astray, 
Does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? And if he should find it, assuredly I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that did not go astray. Even so it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. But if he will not hear, take with, one, take with you one or two more, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.